All right, in this video, we're gonna go through the steps you need to go through to utilize our Quick Align to CAD tool. What this tool allows you to do is to align an instrument to nominal CAD within your essay file. So to get started, we're gonna import some CAD to align to. I'm just gonna drag and drop my file into that graphics view. It's gonna go through that importing process and our window will appear listing all of the features in that file. I don't need any of these points or anything for this, so I'm gonna deselect all of those and then just reselect these two surfaces because that's what I wanna be aligning to. And then in our legend on the right hand side, you can see we have two surfaces listed and that's what's gonna be imported. So then we're gonna select okay. We'll import that part. We now have our CAD file here. I'm gonna go ahead and render this solid so we can see it a little bit easier to do so. I'm gonna to go to my home tab under display Select solid with edges. And it will then render that part solid. So we have our CAD, but we don't have our instrument in our file yet. So let's go ahead and add that next. So to do so, I'm gonna to go to my instrument tab, select add. I'm gonna be using this hexagon absolute arm, so that's already pre-selected. So I'm gonna select add instrument. And our instrument's now in our file. Now we just need to get connected. So we can hit this connect button. And our instrument is now connected in our file. I do wanna go ahead and make my instrument translucent in my file so it doesn't block my CAD at any point in time. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my home tab. Under the display section again, we have this translucency options and we have translucent instruments at the bottom option. So that now makes my arm see through. So it's not gonna be blocking my CAD too much as we go through this process. All right, so we have my arm, we have the CAD. So let's go ahead and get aligned to it. There are a few different options to get to this quick align to CAD command. One of them is gonna be under your instrument tab, under locate. I'm going to prompt you to select the instrument you'd like to locate. We only have one in the file, so it auto selects that one. And then this window will pop up listing all your locate options. Quick align to CAD is that second one from the top. Another option to get there is under the alignment tab. We have this quick align button on the second from the left right there. And then lastly, we can just right click on our arm, go to locate, and then quick align to CAD again. So we will be taking points. So let's go ahead and change my name in this, these point buttons to change them to quick align. Oh. And select okay. So again, let's right click on our instrument, select locate and quick align to CAD. And it prompts me to select my inspection points on the surface. It says one of six, so you do need a minimum of six here. So let's go put three on this base surface. Two on the front face. And then one on the side. You can add additional inspection points if you'd like. Uh, let's go ahead and hit enter and use those six. And it's going to walk you through the points you need to measure. So I'm going to take my arm. Put the probe on where that uh, target is on my part and take a point. And then it will start to do an alignment as you take points. I'm down onto the vertical surface now. And then my last one on the side. So that is all of the six points. It's now gonna perform that alignment. This is a perfect fit since we are using the minimum of six points. So that's why you're seeing the max deviation RMS of zero there. So we can hit accept. And that's now accepting our alignment. To verify that we are roughly aligned, we can easily just add a watch window to our base part. So I just right clicked on that blue base and I'm gonna select add watch window. Now if we take our arm and put that probe tip anywhere on that base surface, it's gonna list our deviation. So we're at one thou, two thou, four thou up to six. This is all, um, this is a rough alignment using quick align. So at this point we're roughly aligned. You could then take additional measurements measuring specific features and do a more precise alignment that way.
But Quick Align is a great tool to just get quickly aligned to your nominal CAD in a matter of a couple minutes. All right, and that is all.